A winter storm which has battered the east coast of the United States has left tens of thousands of people without power. Heavy snowfalls at least 60 centimetres in Boston and New York State have been whipped up by fierce winds, triggering blizzard conditions uh, with zero visibility in places. Several states have declared emergencies and residents across the eastern seaboard have been told to avoid unnecessary travel. Here's our North American correspondent, Peter Bowes. A blanket of snow covers Times Square in New York City. The streets largely deserted as most people hunker down at home. This has been a colossal storm, a bomb cyclone as it's known, a combination of heavy snow and strong winds approaching the strength of a hurricane. This winter wonderland in the heart of New York City is fun for some, but heading out for a selfie moment is not advised by the authorities. The blizzard conditions can be extremely dangerous. The snowscapes in New York are repeated across great swathes of the eastern United States. Boston Airport in Massachusetts is under a thick layer. Across the region, around 6,000 weekend flights have been cancelled. In many neighbourhoods, snow plowers and salt spreaders have been working for hours to try to clear the roads. Many homes are without power. When you get the prevailing northeast winds, it really impacts the coastal areas. They get that strong wind that comes off the ocean. So in addition to having to deal with, you know, borderline historic amounts of snow, you get the winds that just push all of that water on shore. Along the coast, battered by strong winds, flood warnings have been issued as the storm moves northwards. With frigid, potentially life-threatening temperatures overnight, officials are urging people to stay indoors until the storm passes. This is what is the dangerousness we're talking about. We're expecting temperatures in the single digits tonight into tomorrow morning. And this is when frostbite kicks in. Look at how serious that can be. So, uh, so we are trying to remind everybody, take this very seriously. The worst of the snowfall is almost over, but the dangers posed by the extreme conditions will linger with a huge cleanup operation likely to last several days. Peter Bowes, BBC News.